from its base in South Queen's Ferry, the Scottish Ambulance Services Ambulance Control Centre, or ACC, handles 999 calls from all over Scotland. If anything changes, call us back immediately for further instructions, OK? The initial response and planning for medical emergencies all over the country starts here. It's Friday and Sarah has taken a call about a woman who was choking on her porridge. How old is she? Right, I'm organising some help for her now, OK? Just stay on the line. Sarah collects information that will be relayed to the ambulance crew. Right. So the first thing that's critical is the patient breathing and is the patient awake? Um, if not, then that's the kind of first thing they need to know. Um, the next thing they know is what's happened to the patient. Tell me exactly what you hear and see her doing. Right, OK, and can she breathe at all? Hello? So can, sorry, your, your signal's dropping. Can she breathe at all? Right. OK. Now, if just watch her closely and don't slap her on the back. And if she starts wheezing, making any funny noises or becomes unconscious, then tell me, OK? As they feed information into the system, call handlers are guided on their responses. Asking these questions does not delay the ambulance response. So the computer gives us all the answers that we need to, we just input whatever the, the caller tells us, and then based on that, the system, you know, and the protocols will give us the answers and the instructions we need to give to them. So is it the porridge that she's choked on, or is it just the flame that she's choking on? Right. The ambulance is coming as quickly as it can for her, OK? Just keep an eye on her just now. Right, OK, just keep her sitting up then if you can. We're breathing and things, OK? So just try and keep her sitting up. Sarah is unsure if the crew have arrived. Hello? Is that them there? Hello? But she cannot close the call until she is sure the paramedics are on the scene. She checks in with her supervisor. Alan, just assuming that the crew have got this patient because they've put in notes in saying that they can't find her, but the phone signal was that bad that I can't get her back on the phone. No, no, she was in a house. Oh, they've got them, that's fine. They've got her. In choking cases like this, call handlers always advise, don't slap the patient on the back. If someone slaps them, it might cause them more injury than actually helping them. And you don't know how hard somebody is going to slap them to the other somebody else slapping them. So I always tell them, don't. Some people are going to do it anyway. I think like most people come on the phone and they go, I've already been slapping them on the back, and you're like, yes, yeah, stop, <laughs> don't slap them on the back. <laughs> Pretty shame for her. She was choking on her porridge. I had porridge yesterday as well.